Hey guys, Rick Chang here, and today is going to be a guide about how to do the competitive event for Season 2 Wakfu in Waven. Uh, the event is very good to do, especially for lower level players. Uh, you can do it once daily, you can also just claim your ticket daily, you don't have to do it daily, you can just claim a ticket. And you also, I believe, have a set amount, I'm not sure if it's at the beginning of the event or if, was, if like maybe unclaimed tickets get claimed automatically, I'm not sure. But I do know that yeah, you can play this game like, quite a, a bit, uh, even if uh, you know you, you just started playing the game. Uh, so let's just say you're a new player and you're here at Astrid, okay? All you want to do is take this boat, and you're going to go to the competitive island, which is over here. You'll see a little ticket symbol. And we're going to go in, and we're going to walk forward, and it's this little portal, okay? If you click on this portal, it says you have to go do this fight against the uh, Ephraim, right? So, this fight isn't that complicated. You all, the goal is honestly only to get 10,000 points. After 10,000 points, all that matters is for the leaderboards. And if you don't care about leaderboards, it makes it a lot easier because you can just do very safe plays afterwards. And again, it's not that hard. So, let's just go right into this. And again, the goal here is just to get 10,000 points. So, how do we get 10,000 points? Okay, so I have some cards. Mm, is it really that good? Hmm okay so we're gonna attack this guy once always probably always like attack him once and we're gonna use this ability it, it's gonna push him and give me another stack of what we call it i don't know what it's called it's, it's just a push okay so we're gonna attack him and he gets pushed and so what do we do at this point hmm hard to say I think we just use this again, just push charge him twice into the wall. And now we have three pushes, okay? So at this point, we want to be able to hit our breath on two targets. So we're going to push him twice over here. And then this little minion this way. Use a blast. And we're going to auto again. We're going to get another little push because every time you auto, you get a push. We're going to blast him again. And again, the play is very safe. Uh, we're going to run away at this point, so we're going to blast him in the face, just like that. And we could attack this and do some fancy schmancy stuff, but we're not going to bother. Uh, we're just going to run away, and if you look at him, we you do not want him to auto you. He will go into flight mode, and you have to use your, your breath attack on him to make him deactivate it, or he just starts killing you really fast. So we're going to push ourselves away, and as long as you're three away, we're fine. And again, the fight will always start like that. You always just go in and then you have to kind of solve with what you have because it's random what you get. Uh, you need to solve the kind of like this little puzzle. So here, okay, uh, I have two dragon flights. I have an auto reset if I kill a unit with it. So we're going to auto him once. We're going to blast. We're going to auto him again. And I think at this point we're going to fly. And we're going to fly. And then we're going to auto this guy. Yeah, we're going to remove a very safe strategy. Then we're going to use a claw on this guy. And because I... What's my 80? 200. He only has 100 HP. He'll die, and I'll get a reset. And then you can just go and auto attack him. And at this point, we can just pretty much just drag and fly away. And, I mean, if you want to be fancy, you can do something like this, where... You go up and punch him in the face. And since we have at least four shovel reflections, you can actually just push yourself away enough to not get hit. And it's kind of, uh, you kind of, you don't want to hug the wall because if you hug the wall, they start hugging the wall and you do actually really don't want that because you have so many abilities that can go through targets. Um, this looks pretty okay. I think I'm going to shove him one more time though. And just end your turn. As long again, we're playing very safe, not trying to go for any high score. We're almost there to 10,000 points. The points ramp up as the, you progress as well. You also really just want to damage him, because damaging these minions only gives a doesn't get points. Only killing them gives points, and it's only 100 points. Not really a lot. Not really that good. So, um, I don't have to think too much about this. It's pretty easy to get 10,000 points. We're just gonna auto him. We're just gonna dragon breath him. We're just gonna auto him again, and. I have 300 AD, so I could actually get a reset here and auto him again. Again, you really want to auto him because the more you auto him, you, the more these stacks you get, the more um, damage you ramp up later on to make it easier to do this. Um, hmm, do I want to do this? Yeah, I think we're going to charge him here. Charge him, then double auto. Yeah. Just charge. And then 
Um, oh, well, we can't auto right now. You need Dragon Breath. Sorry. Um, yeah, Dragon Breath. That guy's dead. I have, I have a lot of uh, things. Um, do I want to push him? I definitely want to push him because I want the reset. So we're going to push this once. We're going to auto again once. And we're going to do our breath attack. And we have this zero mana cost, which is pretty strong. So, mm, we, we can also do this a little bit risky too, because we have, again, four shuffle reflections, which is what you need. So we're going to do autumn again, then blast them in the face. And then we're just going to go to uh, the edge of the map, essentially. And mm, should I do that or should I just push him twice? I might just push him twice here, honestly. Yeah, it's a little bit better. And again, he's three away. It's it's pretty simple. Nothing can hit me. If the, if these hit you once, or even him hits you once, it's not the end of the world. You can actually recover. Just play a little bit safer is all. If you get hit twice, that's usually kind of bad. Again, I have a lot of score. I'm kind of like min-maxing, but it's pretty fun to play. I like to kind of like think a little bit. Uh, so again, we're just going to... Hmm, do I just smack him in the face here? I have 450 AD. I think I just go this way and just smack him. Hmm, yeah, I'm just going to do that and smack him. Uh, I'm going to blast. And we do have a dragon flight. So I might just dragon flight away. I might dragon flight this way first, though. So, I mean, we have the point cap. So at this point, we just need to live. Hmm. I guess I'll just auto him. I guess I'll dragon flight now. I could have did this a little bit better. But again, I'm just trying to just relax a little bit. Hmm. I could also charge him here. Yeah, so here, I'm actually going to charge him. Because then, I, my goal, I'm not going to show like how to do super fancy stuff. Because this isn't really that hard to get the maximum points required. And at this point, I, you do want to whittle them down a little bit. So you don't get overwhelmed, Oh, obviously. And we're going to kill that guy. We're going to refresh. And we're refreshed. And we're just going to kill another guy. And we probably want to run into the corner. Or just push these guys away, to be honest. Because since they're kind of just here. And... Yep, nothing's going to be able to hit us. Which is really good. Push that guy away. And again, nothing's in our way. So, we just need a little more turn. So, um, this is the turn where they're going to play... And then if I live, that's in the match. So, I'm, again, you don't need to do anything fancy. Uh, he's going to walk over here. Okay, that's fine. Again, I don't need to even do anything. I, if I wanted to, I, like, I'll even show that you don't even need to, like, win, necessarily. Like, you can just go here. Blast. You can just go here. Blast. You can go here. And, like, that's pretty much the end of it. Like, again, uh, I feel kind of guilty because I actually like kind of playing this and solving the puzzles and getting more score. I think it's pretty fun. But that's all you really need to do. You can just pass at this point, and he'll be defeated, or I guess the match is over. And just like that, we'll get some walkthrough food fragments, okay? And I'm going to show another match just to show, uh, again, it, the beginning is random. And we're going to play again. Let's play again, and we'll see what happens. You said something in French. I have no idea what he's saying. So again, always to start the match, just whack him in the face. I have a dragon flight. Hmm, do I use dragon flight here? I think I do, to be honest. Yep, we're gonna just dragon flight. And then we're gonna auto this guy in the face. Hmm. I have a dragon breath, so I think I'm doing to just push him. We're gonna blast. Hmm, what do we do at this point? Kind of scary. So this is where you don't have too much to actually, like, you could take a hit. So. Like, I want to just demonstrate that you can take a hit, okay? So, we're going to... Do I want to do that, though? Yeah, I'm just going to demonstrate. We're going to take a hit. Smack him. We're going to go forward. And at this point, we're going to... I think we're just going to blast him in the face, honestly. So, blast him in the face. Big damage. Taking one hit isn't a big deal. I just want to run away from that minion. And I'm going to show you his flight mechanic and what to do against it. So, oh no, he's going to hit me. It's not a big deal because early on, he only has 150 AD. Later on, he has like 300. Do a lot of damage to you. So, he's going to fly here. And I need to blast him with, yeah, this breath attack. So, hmm, what do I do here? Hmm. So, again, kind of sucks when he does this because you can't auto attack him when he's like this. Like, if you see, I'm trying to auto him. Does not work. So, we're going to just walk here. Our fourth range dragon breath hits him. 
laser him down. He, now he's back on the ground. Because if you don't do that, he just hits you no matter where you're on the map. He just does a lot of damage. We're going to blast. Going to auto. And I, I think, again, we don't need to play too fancy here. Hmm, I might just charge him, to be honest with you. Hmm, is that a good play? I don't really like it too much. I mean, you know, I'm not, I'm not even going to do that. I, I, I like... E that's like for min max points if you're going for the highest score. So we're not even going to do that. We're just going to play it safe, and I think we're just going to go through him. Um, I really want to charge, but I just don't know if it's good. Uh, I could go. Eh, I could do that because I'll land here. One, two, three. Um, I really don't. I I really just don't like that. I I, I actually just really don't like that. I'm not going to do that because I don't want to die in a video for something stupid just for the sake of it. Uh, I can auto this minion to kill him. Which is nice. So, yeah, I will auto him. It's better to auto him to get cards. You also don't don't want to waste your cards just on, like, on him. Because if you don't do that, like, the thing that, that get refreshes your cards is your auto attacks, not use the cards. So, if you just use your cards and waste them and don't auto in between, you're going to just kind of lose the match, essentially. So, I'm just going to push him a little bit. And he's going to be just enough away. These minions are kind of like this. Um, I'm going to push this one minion away. And that looks good to me. We're just going to wait. Again, not the best turn, but it doesn't have to be the best turn to get at least 10,000 points. And more spawn. I will say, if you get 20,000 points and die, you'll actually go down to 10,000 points and you'll be fine. I do apologize if the sound's a little bit loud, but I don't like her. I think it's pretty cool. Um, I can't kill this minion now because I missed an auto, which is kind of a shame. So this is a little bit tricky to be honest with you. I might just attack him and fly. Yeah, we're going to attack him. We're going to fly through him. Then we're going to attack him again, I think. Yeah, we're going to attack him again. Again, you shouldn't really need to think too much into it. We're going to do that. Blast. Hmm, looks pretty good. Again, we really just don't want to die, which would be really bad. So again, I might play it very, 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 very safe here. Uh, I will say, this ability, again, it counts as an auto, but it doesn't use your auto attack. So we could use this here, to be honest with you, and just take a hundred hit, which isn't that big of a deal. So I think I'm just gonna do, I'm just gonna do just that. We're just gonna hit him once, get a stack, and I might just blast him right now. Hmm. I think I will. We're just gonna blast him, and I really just don't want this guy to attack me. Do I run this way or no? I don't think I do. I think I just go over here, run behind here, and then hug the corner. So I am, oh, no, 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 I don't need to do that, actually. Uh, so I can do a very, a safer play, which is just auto this guy. And I have 275 AD, this guy's 225, so I can actually get a refresh off him. He's dead. I could also maybe got a refresh off this guy, but again, I'm not going for score. You have to play a little bit risky if you're going for those highest scores. We're going to push him away. We really don't want to hug the corner really that much, honestly. Uh, and we're gonna push this guy once and again that looks pretty good to me. So we're just gonna pass. Yes I wanted to skip my turn We're gonna see what he does here he Walks in front of me, which is good. We want to whack him because again whacking the units does not give you points only killing them So again, this looks pretty simple. Honestly, we can just like again Don't need I'm not gonna think too much into it because we're not trying to like do some super crazy score shit mm, I might auto him here and push him forward honestly it might be kind of stupid, though. Mm. I have two dragon fights, so maybe I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to blast. Then I'm going to auto. Then I'm going to blast. And I think I'm going to dragon fight here in a second. So we're going to auto him here. And I do have a dragon fight. So I think I just dragon fight away. Just to play it safe. Yeah, we're just going to dragon fight away. We're going to get some points here. Nice. Again, autoing this is better than using an ability. Hmm. I could kill them, maybe. But, again, I'm not going to think too much into it. We're going to kill that. I only need to do a 1900 more damage. Which, or, yeah, yeah. Uh, 1900 damage. Which isn't that bad. We're going to push this guy once. We're going to push this guy once over here. And they're all pretty far, so that's pretty good. We're going to push this guy forward, actually. And that looks pretty good to me. We're just going to turn. And at this point, um, I think even if I fucked up really hard, again, this guy has 400 AD, so don't let him auto you. If these things auto you, it's not a big deal. Uh, he's over there. Hmm. 
I guess I'm going to auto him, or do I auto him? I guess I do. Again, I don't need to do something super fancy. I, I can even just do something like this. So, so I can do a little bit of a ballsy thing, where you just charge in, smack him in the face, be, you can just beam his ass. And we're really close to the point cap. So we do have Dragonflight, by the way. So again, we're at 10,000 points. So what do we do at this point? We can just fly away and we can just beam here and then run to the corner. And we're good at this point, I think. Yep, uh, nothing, nothing's gonna be able to get us. And again, we're not playing for the high, big, high score. As long as you have 10,000 points, that's all you need. And it's gonna play and then we're gonna win. And so that's something to do if you have a different card set. Again, the cards that you're always gonna have to go in. If, if the cards you have mean you're gonna get hit, it's not a big deal. Just fix it by blasting them. Again, that took a little bit long. Again, I, I this should take less than five minutes, not seven minutes, okay? So what do you do after you have these fragments? We have 40,000 walk food fragments. So we're gonna go back to our boat over here and we're gonna go to Cabrox Island. Island, sorry, Island. <laughs> and we're gonna go into the shop here. And again, if you're a new player, uh, I would highly recommend buying these chests. So you're gonna see four types of chests. Super spell, super equipment, super companions, and Alberia chests. The Alberia chests have really strong equipment and uh, they're just really good in general. Uh, the other chests are, are honestly pretty good too, especially like companion chests if you're uh, doing a companion build. Uh, you don't need many of these. I would say you probably need maybe a 50 chest max and you'll have a solid build as in like for like a really long time so again we're just gonna buy a bunch of these chests and there you go and i mean i'm just gonna open them for the heck of it and so how do you choose your loot well uh it depends on the build you're looking at there is a build i think there's a, if you type in like uh wave in builds you can look for a build for a class if you're the type of person if you're just experimenting you can just get different things uh again the abilities are very strong the Equipment's very strong. It's it's it's, it's just a nice little bonus um, every day. Or again, if you have, I think you have like twelve tickets or fifteen tickets when you start playing the game. Yeah, sorry, uh, every season, so it's a nice little boost. So uh, we're just gonna get the purples. Why? Uh, purples are harder to get if you keep on choosing the comments. You know, they're kind of hurt. You know, a pain ass to get. Like this ring, for example, is very good. But again, I already have this stuff, so I'm gonna get the purple. We're gonna put another one. Also, um, we're gonna pick the purple and. Eh, I'm just gonna pick the. Eh. I guess I'll just choose a spell, the purple spell. I'm gonna open chest automatically, it makes it a lot faster. And I'm actually gonna just get the companion, because the companions are a little bit rare. Uh, I get purple companion, so we're gonna get the purple companion. We're gonna get the blue companion. It looks good to be purple, and we're gonna get blue, and that looks pretty good to me. What do I want here? I think we're gonna get the blue, and I think we're gonna get the blue again. Uh, again, uh, for a newer, newer player, I would highly recommend just getting uh, at least one duplicate of each item because it allows you to build builds. Like the extra levels only matter at like higher level content, like level 80, level 90, level 100 content. Uh, even like like level 30 content as a level 20 or 30 player, you you should be able to like easily uh, accomplish uh, whatever you're doing. So I'm just saying, just try to get the newer spells because a lot of builds have different types of spells. So if you want to experiment, it's nice. And again, even if you don't pick it and you choose to max something else to get duplicates to max out the skill, it's fine because you, you could just do this every day or again, get a ticket and just do it whenever and you'll have a nice time. So we're going to get the blue here and we're going to get the, the more blue, I guess. Like that's 12. Uh, we're going to get the 11 blue, 12 blue. Oh, there's a purple. So I should get the purple instead. And that looks pretty good. And most of us are reaching the cap on uh, cards because again, these cards only go level 50. Uh, so you don't need too many of them, especially for, again, I don't even have a single ability at level 50. By the way, I've been playing this game for a week. Uh, we're gonna get a purple, we're gonna get a doggy. Another purple's good. And I guess another ring. I'm getting very close to Maxian's ring. Um, yeah, very, very close to Maxian's ring. Oh, we got a legendary. Um, I would highly recommend always taking legendaries, especially if it's duplicate legendary. They're very rare to find. Like end game, you're, the thing you're gonna be most uh, out of are legendaries and runes. So try to prioritize legendaries and runes uh, as mo much as possible. Even purples aren't that hard to get. It's the legendaries are very hard to get. Um, hmm. 
I think I'm just gonna get the red spell. I actually do use this ability. And I think I'll get the companion since it's 12 and it's blue rarity. We're going to get blue and blue. I don't use that red spell. I am a fire build. We're gonna take this ring and I think I'm gonna take the diggy again just to get him closer to done. And we're gonna take that and another blue. I think I'm really close to finish that ring. I'm gonna get 11 duplicates of that and my fire spell I use. Purple and purple, I think that's pretty simple to do. Oh, there was a red spell. Maybe I should have got that, but I'm very close to max now, so that's fine. The common spells, again, are very easy to max. So if you see here, just max this out a little bit. Level 44. Uh, I'm level 44, so I can't get it too higher. It is capped at 50, so that's fine. Again, perfect. And, um... Yeah, I'll, I'll work on doing something else there. So that's pretty much the whole video. Again, it's very nice boost to do content and uh, do builds, because uh, these chests, again, like the equipment from the chests are very strong. And if you're ever having trouble with like, a, like your level 30, or you're struggling with like a level 30 dungeon or level 40 even, these will help you a lot just having a duplicate. So yeah, uh, it will get to the point again, like I'm getting very close to the point where I don't even need these chests anymore because it's mostly if, if you want to get the purples or the uh, golds, I'm probably, I would probably just start doing, probably even the companions. Companions are pretty rare to get. I think companions are rarer to get than even equipment. So yeah, just saying uh, that's it. Uh, if you liked the video, maybe tell me. Uh, I, again, maybe if you want a different type of video, or maybe different advice, I can always answer the comments too. So, yeah. Uh, the game is free, by the way. I will probably put that in the description. Uh, I just think it's a very nice game to play. I've been having a lot of fun just testing out and, you know, learning things, getting, you know. It's, it's interesting playing a different game. So, yeah. Bye.